Okay, I then am of class 11. Please prepare to recite Om Kaur. So please join your hands and close your eyes and be ready for the Om Kaur. Om Bhudhuvat Swaha Sasar Gurvane Niyam Dharmo Devat Sati Mahi Yoyona Prachodaya Om Bhudhuvat Swaha Sasar Gurvane Niyam Dharmo Devat Sati Mahi Yoyona Prachodaya Om Bhudhuvat Swaha Sasar Gurvane Niyam Dharmo Devat Sati Mahi Yoyona Prachodaya Thank you. Greetings of the day everyone who is present here on this auspicious occasion. Today all of us are here to celebrate the 73rd Republic Day of our country and I am an Akshay Tiwari of class 8th P is over here to deliver a speech on Republic Day. Republic Day or Gantantra Divas celebrated every year on 26th January has a special significance in history of India. To make the event memorable, the national event is celebrated every year with a lot of joy, happiness and pride in our hearts. As we know, on 26 January 1950, the Indian constitution came into effect. And so, from that day, we, the people of India, constantly praise it as Republic Day of our country. We all know that India got independence on 15th August 1947, but the nation didn't have any constitution of its own. However, after many discussions and considerations, a committee leaded, a committee headed by Dr. B. R. Ambedkar submitted a draft of Indian constitution which was adopted on 29, uh, 26th November 1949 and officially came into effect on 26th January 1950. I want to end this speech by saying that India is a democratic country. The citizens living in a democratic in country enjoy the privilege to elect their leader to lead the country. Although there has been a lot of improvement now, but still we have, we has, we have been facing a few problems such as poverty, pollution, unemployment, etc. One thing we all can do is to promise each other to become a better version of ourselves so that we could contribute to solving these problems and make our nation a better place. Thank you, Jai Hind. Good morning, I am Yashika Joshi of Class 8B. Take pledge position. We the people of India having solemnly resolved to constitute India into a sovereign, socialist, circular, democratic republic and to secure to all its citizens justice, social, economic and political justice, liberty of thought, expression, faith and worship, equality of status and of opportunity and to promote them all, fraternity assuring dignity of the individual and unity and integrity of the nation. In our Constituent Assembly, this 26th day of November 1949, do hereby adopt, enact and give to ourselves this Constitution. Myself Sandarya Juneja from class 11th P. Today I am going to speak about importance of elections in India. Elections are an essential part of any democracy. There are various kinds of elections held every year for different purposes. Elections are meant for the people or citizens of the country to choose their representatives through the process of elections. Importance of elections. Choice of leadership. Elections provide a way for the citizens of India to choose their leaders. Change of leadership. Elections in India are also a platform for the public to voice their sentiment against a ruling party by voting for other parties and helping election a different government. Political participation. Elections open the door for new issues to be raised in public. Elections are a regular exercise occurring every five years in India. The ruling parties are kept in check and made to concern demands of public. 
Elections is a step that provides equality and fairness as all the citizens are eligible to vote. Elections make sure that the democratic state runs efficiently and effectively. Vote today, have a better tomorrow. Thank you. Hello everyone. Thank you for having me today. My name is Shukrit Kaur and I am going to speak about why National Voters Day is celebrated. Election Commission of India was founded on 25th January 1950. In the year 2011, a union cabinet meeting was held which was chaired by the Prime Minister Manmohan Singh. In this meeting, a law ministry proposal was approved regarding National Voters Day. Hence, the first time this day was observed was in the year 2011. Since then, National Voters Day is observed on January 25 every year to mark the Foundation Day of Election Commission of India. This day is meant to encourage, facilitate and maximize the enrollment of new voters. Dedicated to the voters of the country, this day is utilized to spread awareness among voters and for promoting informed participation in the electoral process and it also focuses that right to vote is a basic right. Voting in the central pillar of a functioning democracy and India since its first general elections in 1951 has adopted the principles of universal adult franchise. The 61st Amendment Bill of 1998 minimized the voter's eligibility age in India from 21 years to 18 years of age. The power of vote holds immense significance as it puts the will of the people into action when it comes to choosing who should go on and legislate on their behalf. This day is celebrated every year in New Delhi in the presence of our Honorable President of India. The function has organized various cultural activities which begins with the welcome speech. The new voters are also given their electoral photo identity card. Every year, a different theme is chosen for this occasion. And for this year, that is 2022, the theme is Electoral Democracy. Thank you. Good morning to one and all present over here. This is Rona Karora of Class 10th B to give a short speech on elections in India. India is a parliamentary system as defined by its constitution with the power distributed between the central government and the states. The President of the India is the ceremonial head of the country and the Supreme Commander-in-Chief for all defense forces in India. However, it is the Prime Minister of India who is the leader of the party or political alliance having majority in national elections to the Lok Sabha. The Prime Minister is the leader of the executive branch of the government of India. The Prime Minister is the Chief Advisor to the President of India and the Head of the Union Council of Ministers. India is regionally divided into states and union territories and in each state has a Chief Minister who is the leader of the party or the political alliance that has won a majority in the regional elections otherwise known as State Assembly elections that exercises executive power in that state. The respective state's Chief Minister has executive power within the state and works jointly with the Prime Minister of India or their ministers on matters that require both state and central attention. Some union territories also elect an assembly and have a territorial government and other. Union territories are go governed by a person appointed by the President of India. The President of the India monitors the rule of law through their appointed gov governors in each state and on their recommendation can take over the executive power from the Chief Minister of State. Temporarily, when the elected representative of the state government has failed to create a peaceful environment and has deteriorated in chaos, the President of India dissolves the existing state government if necessary and a new election is conducted. Good morning everyone. My name is Akshat Singhal. I am studying class 4 stage. Today I am going to do the role play of Mahatma Gandhi. I was born on 2nd October 1869 in Porbandar, Gujarat state. My father's name is Ranjan Gandhi and my mother's name is Nibai. My full name is Mohan Das Kanchan Gandhi. People call me Babu and Nandi D. Title Mahatma is given by Great Ravindranath Tagore Ji. I am 
I am the great follower of truth and non virgin. I have married to Katsuba Bai. After 16 years, my father died. After 16 years, I went to the England to study law. I am the follower. I am a follower of truth and non volume. Principle of my life are do not speak bad things, do not listen, do not listen bad things, do not see bad things. So, do not speak lie. Uh, always speak truth. You must be the change to wish to see in the world. Keep my India clean. Hindu, Muslim, Sai, and Hum Hai Bhai Bhai. Bande Matram. Jahan. Jahan. Thank you.
मुझे नेताजी बोलते हैं मैं सच्चा देख सकता हूँ मैं अंग्रेजी सोच से डर रहा था समझ सको तो हम लोगों को समझ सको तो समझो दिल पर जानी जितना भी तुम समझोगे उतनी होगी हैरानी हम लोगों को समझ सको तो समझो दिल पर जानी जितना भी तुम समझोगे उतनी होगी हैरानी अपनी छतरी तुम तो देते कभी जो पर से पानी कभी नए पैकेट में बेचे तुमको चीज पुरानी फिर भी दिल है हिंदुस्तानी फिर भी दिल है हिंदुस्तानी फिर भी